How's it going? Hey. Hey, are, are you the guy I'm looking for? What are you talking about? Uh, I was supposed to meet a guy right about here. Oh, I just saw a bunch of people back there. You did? Yeah. Yeah, but he wouldn't be with a bunch of people. He'd be, he'd be out by himself. Oh, really? Yeah, he'd be out by himself because I'm supposed to meet him and talk to him about getting something. What? Okay, I gotta ask, are you a customs agent? Do I look like one? No. Just no. gotta check, you know? You, th th they should be on the border checking stuff as it comes across, but... Are you one? No, not a customs agent. Okay. Okay? Not a cop either, so... I'm just looking for a guy who has some stuff that I would like to get. Okay, what, what stuff are you talking about? Well, you weren't... I was told he's gonna be wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. You're wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. Expressions oh. of a Wookiee. Okay, yeah, and I told him I'd be wearing a Star Wars t-shirt, you know, I'm wearing a Darth Vader shirt. Yeah. So I'm looking for some Star Wars stuff. Star Wars stuff? Yeah. Okay, what kind of Star Wars stuff? The stuff you can't get easily. I don't know what you you're know, talking about. I'm, I'm not talking about the stuff you can get at your hobby shop, you know, like Walmart, Target, yeah. Hobby Lobby. You know, I'm, I'm looking for the stuff that might be some contraband or something. Contraband. What are you yeah. talking about? Um, okay, okay. I, I went too far. I'm looking for an X-wing. Oh. Uh, that kind of rings the bell, but I'm not sure. Not sure? No. Well, here, here. What, 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 what if I showed you this? Uh, would would that get I, somewhere? I think Does that I, jog in the memory a little? Yeah, it's just refresh my. So, so I have some green. I can pay for pay for it okay now i'm looking for an x-wing now i'm not looking for a typical x-wing you know i'm looking for an x-wing from the new movie mm. well i have some stuff in here i don't mm. know if you want to look at it yeah yeah because i'm looking for an x-wing yeah i mean i just i just bought it right but what what is that so i think this is what well, you're let me see the other right? side it might be oh no 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 see that says revel right there that's not what i'm looking for I'm looking for oh. the good stuff. Oh, so you're looking Not for that inferior first. product. Well, you know what? I, I know somebody. You know somebody? Yeah. What's it going to take to get to know this somebody? Well, how much are you willing to pay for it? Because it seems like you know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I don't, the, the problem is, you know, I'm, I've got a family. i got a budget. I can't go too crazy here. Gotcha. You know, I'm flashing around some green here, but... You know, the wife finds out I got this. We got to keep this discreet. Sure. I mean... Down below level one. No one knows what's going on. Gotcha. So, you know a guy. So, what's it going to cost me? You know, I can't have it on the... Well, what about this? Um, you follow me. I'll tell you where you can meet this guy. And we'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay. That, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to afford it. I'll be able to afford it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, as long as he's reasonable, it'll be okay. But, you know, I don't, I'm not made out of money. I'm, I'm not wanting to spend, you know, like $300 for the Bandai product because I can get that for 20 you know, that that thing you're holding. Yeah, but you also know what, what you want, right? Yeah, I know what I want. Okay, so we can probably find a way okay you know. okay okay so okay me. all right hello everyone i survived my trip to go find us some product here let me show you what we got the first guy i met i did get this but after a long journey and meeting some nameless people i got this so let's open up the boxes and see what we have. Okay, I gotta set up my review area, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, everyone, we got the review area set up. Sorry about the lamp, I'll move the lamp up a little. There we go, I've still got to clean this room a tiny bit, but we're okay. Now, let me talk about this. This is 172nd scale, Force Awakens TIE Fighter. This is box scale. Sorry, we're going to have the Thundercat meowing in the background. He's not happy with something right now. Um, it's box scale. Rebel has done this for years. 
It's as if they don't take Star Wars kits seriously. Because their car kits are in scale. Revel of Germany does some really good model kits for armor and air. But Star Wars is just thrown to the side, and I don't get it. Box scale means the scale of the model fits the box, not any particular scale. I'm not even sure what scale this is. Someone will be able to tell me. We'll be able to tell if it's bigger 172nd or smaller Now, in a minute. Now, one other thing about it is that it is the skill level 1. The skill level 2 kit's not available in my area as of yet, and I didn't want to get on the internet and buy one. You'll see why in a minute. Um, I've got this one to compare with this one because they're similar sizes. Okay? Since they're similar sizes, they should have similar details and that sort of thing. Now, this is also the um, play kit. In other words, you make it and you play with it. Okay? This has sound effects and stuff. This has no sound effects. Now, we're going to open the boxes. I'm going to show you what's in the boxes. The Revel kit, when you look at the back, shows you what's in the box right there. There are 18 parts. Okay, 18 parts. Now I've seen some people build this up and it looks really nice when you weather it and add some details and a few other things. I've seen a review of the skill level two kit. It's bigger than this, but it has less details than this. From my understanding, it has less details. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has less details. Now I did open it downstairs and I didn't realize that it was weirdly packaged. So opening downstairs kind of destroyed the packaging. The first thing you see is this. Yes, the wings are coming out. It's a pre-paint. So if I was going to seriously keep this, it'd have to be stripped and repainted. Here's the directions. Okay. If there's a bag of pieces. Let me get the Bandai kit out of the way. Hello, Thunder. Mr. Thunder's right behind me. Okay, and the main body parts. Okay, now we got the whole Revel kit here. Let's start looking at these parts and see what they look like. So I'm going to take the camera. That's a better camera angle. Let's zoom this in. Thunder is closing the doors on me. So we can get a good close-up look of what's going on. Instead of looking at a box, I'm going to move that back so it's more centered. I need to get a trolley with wheels for my camera. They're not expensive. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. Now, we have a little bit of detail here. A little bit. We have a little bit of detail here. The best place to find the detail is the droid trench and the cockpit. And that's this part right here is the droid trench and the cockpit. Okay. And apparently this button activates things, so let's pull that out and let's see what we're getting. Okay. That's just sound. I don't see any lights anywhere. BB-8 is the button for the sound. Now let's look at the detail on this. Come on, camera. You want to focus here, not down there. There we go. Look at the detail on this. Okay. There's the cockpit. I, some of the builds I've seen, they ditch this. They just don't even put it in the model. Let's pull the fuselage out. Now, there's no droid trench. Boy, that's in there, too. It's almost like they taped it. It wouldn't surprise me if it's taped. I feel like I'm going to break it pulling it out of there. Okay, and this is going to snap in here, obviously, or bolt down or something. It's going to sit in there somehow. Okay, now, when you get it in there, it doesn't look that bad. I'm not going to lie or argue about it. It doesn't look that bad. I think I'm going to be better off setting that down here. This way the camera will stay focused the whole way through. And again, when you get it down here, it doesn't look that bad. Okay? 
that doesn't look that bad. We've got panel lines. The panel lines seem to be pretty good, actually. Pretty crisp. I don't know how accurate it is because, well, the movie doesn't come out for a month or two yet. A month or two. A month. You diehard Star Wars fans will spank me for that, saying two. It's not two months away. It's a little over a month. Okay. So it looks like it's got decent panel lines. It's just lacking kits. It's a pre-paint. There's no weathering on it. Okay. Here's the bottom half of the fuselage. There's the photon launch. Oh, I'm way off camera. There's the bottom half. There's the photon launchers. We have the holes for the sound. If you want to build it as a serious kit, you should get rid of those. Okay. And again, since this is from a movie we have not seen, I don't know about accuracy or anything. Okay. I'm just showing you what we have in the Revel kit. Let's look at one of the laser cannons, then we're going to get on to Bandai. Here's one of the laser cannons. Okay. They, from the looks of it, just snap on the end of the wing. Thusly. I'm not looking at the directions, but they just sit on the wing like that. It almost looks like that's incorrect. I don't really think that should be that way. Okay, that just looks wrong to me. All right, it looks like that should be up and down, not sideways. It looks like this is in the wrong, so you would have to cut it off and fix it if you want something that looks right. Yeah. Let's look at the Bandai box for reference. You see what I'm talking about? Look at the wing. Yeah, it's wrong according to the Bandai box. Let's look at the picture on the Revel box. Oh, uh, the picture, they definitely use the model kit for their picture. You can see that it's horizontal. Okay. Now, if you look at the picture on their box, which probably is a render from the movie, it's not horizontal. So we've outlined one major flaw of this kit. They didn't put these on properly. And that's probably just... It's easier. Okay. As for the rest of the model kit, it's in this bag. I'm gonna open up a little bit so we can see what's in there. I'm gonna set it aside in a minute. It didn't come with a stand as far as I can tell. Of course, it would help. Oh, it came with landing gear though. So, you know, you've got a way to set it up. Here's one of the engine cones. Okay. It didn't come with landing gear. It did come with landing gear. Here's the canopy. It has clear glass on it. It's pre-painted. It's silver. From the Bandai box, it looks like it's supposed to be silver. And from the movie stills, it doesn't look so silver. So that's weird. You've got these four engines. You've got an end cap here. Okay. And you got three landing feet. Okay. You got three landing feet in the bag. So there's the whole model kit. Not much to it. I'm going to set it aside. We'll pull parts and look at them and compare them to the Bandai kit as needed. So I'm not putting these very far away from me so I can grab them. And we can look and see what Bandai looks like. Because, well... There's the Bandai kit. Let's zoom this back some so we can see the whole thing in all of its glory. Remember, the Revel kit had 18 parts, okay? I opened the Bandai kit up. Well, they don't put English on here anymore because they're not supposed to sell it outside, the, outside Japan. They didn't. I didn't get this from a reseller, okay? You guys saw how I got it. <laughs> Anyhow, there's photos of the box art. Let's set the box lid down. Immediately, I have more parts on one sprue than that entire kit immediately now let's see if we can find some parts and get an idea of scale now this is not the full wing but you can tell the revel kit is a larger scale than the bandai kit just off that alone it's a larger scale but when we pull out 
one of the landing gear because I saw one of the landing gear a second ago from the Bandai kit they're almost the same size okay right here is Revel right there's Bandai now I am gonna open the bags this one this thing's not getting sold to anyone Bandai does mold and color we have Star Wars base 9 here okay we're just doing a quick look at it we've got stickers and decals and the laser cannons are here and it looks to me like you're going to be able to take care of those laser cannons and orientate them the way you want on top of that they are hollow in the end we will open the bag and show that a little bit better okay here's our decals so we have stickers and decals we have little red laser blasters we have a clear canopy and a hollow canopy we have engine bells here and one thing about that this the revel kit is larger so its engine bells are significantly bigger larger scale larger engine bells let's get to the directions and take a look okay so let me get the bottom of the box out of the way here's the first page nice color map of course you get the sprue map like Bandai always does long fold out here now I'm not gonna pull the 172nd X-Wing and take a look because I bet they're pretty similar I might just look at the fuselages to compare them but they're probably pretty similar there's gonna be some differences here and there there should be okay so there's a look at the first page now when we look at the back page we have color we have a decal and painting guide and I really want to be able to paint a 172nd figure like that one day. Wow. Someone has incredible eyesight to do that. Here's our decal guide. And final assembly. And it came with red effect parts so you can have them coming out of the lasers okay so let's take a look at the parts themselves and see what they're like shall we i think we shall okay and there it is sorry i walked away from the camera for a second but i wanted to get something i wanted to get this the bandai x-wing from the first set of movies so let's put that in a box the directions in the box let's open up a baggie and let us take a look at what we have let's look at some styrene goodness here okay here's our first set of sprue we have our pilots we have the photon launchers the photon launchers are actually open at the ends so if you wanted to light them you could we have the engine bells now one thing you're going to notice about those engine bells let's see let me zoom in this thing does not have the fastest zoom in the world i probably ought to put it in manual and just zoom it myself okay but look at the detail inside those engine bells that goes way down deep in there and if you look at the rebel kit at the engine bell inside there it's just not the same of course that's not focusing so let me put my hands around it so it'll focus better that detail there just is not the same as the detail here nowhere near it okay panel lines the bottom doesn't have much panel lines but let's look at the side everyone see the side of it right there okay compare that to the revel kit and the panel lines look like they match up fairly well that is surprising everything's matching up fairly well now we don't have the nose of the kit the nose of the kits over here with the photon launchers and it comes in multiple pieces 
that's because Bandai is molding everything in color and you these blue parts are a separate part from the white these gray and blue up here are separate parts as well there there's some of the blue parts that go on here well I've got it off screen all these blue parts are separate parts on the Bandai kit okay so there is sprue A with the clear canopy and I love how Bandai gates around the canopy so they don't get scratched and of course we have our decals those are water slides you have a water slide for the cockpit now that's supposed to be silver let's pull that out and take a look it looks to be pretty good on the metallic it looks like it got mangled a little bit right here I'm not one to use decals I would paint so I'm not too sad about that mangling right no oh, you don't see it right there I'm off camera let me zoom this back out so I don't get off camera on you guys but the decals look like they took a hit right here well it's a resistance x-wing so it should be a little beat up okay the silver parts look like Bandai used some good silver paint on there so let's set these two aside look out Mr. Thunder let's get out the next set of sprue with the stickers eh, the stickers are actually more silver not surprised by that okay really not surprised by that okay and here's the sticker sheet you know these we've talked about before on this channel they're no good they're for the like six-year-olds who want to build this I might be pushing a little bit there's a lot of parts here I don't know BB could build it but she's into girly stuff these days and not really building models but anyhow you can see that they did hollow out oh, of course the camera's focusing everywhere but where I want it to it may not focus well because it wants to focus on the background yeah there you go you can see it there they did make these hollow they are molding them hollow we have hollow inserts and you can see they're hollow here at this end too it just wants to focus on everything but because while well, it's focusing on the there we go you can see those are hollow as well the ends of the x-wings are hollow of the laser cannons are hollow okay there you can see it the ends are hollow all right so they did some good molding on this they're all hollow um, there's supposed to be points on the ends of these. I haven't seen that yet on any of the sprue. Let me look at the sprue I set aside a minute ago and see if there's points on there. There are not points on there. I'm sure they're here somewhere. They're probably in the silver sprue. Okay. But there you go. Here's this sprue. It has the wing. The wings look like they're going to pivot. Yes, the wings will pivot. There's the big axis for them to pivot on. So the wings are going to pivot on this okay let me get the last set of sprue out and let's see if the points are there yep the points are there like i said they would be they're on the silver why did they put them on the silver i don't know that doesn't make any sense here's the last set of sprue it's got the droid trench here's the end caps for the engines okay now let me do a zoom in and again the camera's not very fast i think that's so it stays focused as it zooms but look at the detail in there lots of good detail shall we look at the revel kit and compare it okay your eyes are not deceiving you even zooming out doesn't help it there is zero detail in there Again, I've heard that the skill level 2 Revel Kit has less detail than that one. People are adding all sorts of little bits. Here's the ends of the laser cannons. Okay. And of course, it has Star Wars Base 9. All right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Getting a look at uh, a contraband model, so to speak. 
if you want one, you can get them. Amazon has them. Surprisingly, Amazon does have them. eBay has them. And I don't know how long they're going to be on Amazon. eBay, well, I really don't think they can patrol eBay well enough to keep them off. Another thing for you to think about and consider... Don't you just hate getting a brain fart? Oh, I want to add a last comment. Now I know what I was going to say. I've put some videos up about Revel versus Bandai. Um, one of my viewers lives in Japan. He told me he can't get the Revel kits in Japan anymore. That they've just dried up and disappeared. So it sounds to me like it's been Disney all along doing all this. Why? I have no idea. Okay. The Revel kit and the Bandai kits aren't nowhere near the same. They're not even comparable, to be honest with you. The Revel kit's bigger. They designed that for kids. This is designed for kids as well as adults. That's why it has stickers and decals, the Bandai kit. So I'm not even sure why Disney did that other than to say we can. That might be the only reason why they did it. But I've been told the Revel kits are not available in Japan anymore. So... It's probably Disney. But anyhow, I don't want to open that controversy back up. I'm still getting views on those videos, and I'm still getting comments on them. Let's just say it's a messed up situation and go on from there. Okay? Build our models in happiness. Well, there's your look at the Bandai versus the Revel Resistance X-Wings. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later. Forgot to add something. The original Series X-Wing is nothing like the Resistance X-Wing. You can see it just glancing at these, these sets of sprues. Nowhere near the same thing. Okay? They're not even comparable. So, it's not even worth my time to really dig into this box and show it to you because they're not the same thing. They're nowhere near it. Okay? So there you go. You want to see the X-Wing? The video is still up on YouTube. You can find it. But for now, I'm going to go get this done. It's late. I've spent a lot of time at work. I want to eat some food and go to bed. So talk to you guys later.